What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, do me a huge favor, go down and subscribe. Should I get a new intro? It's been a while since I've been using the same one. I told you guys a couple of videos ago, I might not make a video separately dedicated to cars I want to buy in the future, but I decided to make a video dedicated to cars I want to buy in the future. A couple of videos ago when I kind of went down, ran through some things, a little bit of an update, I ran you through some possible cars that I would want to buy in the near future. But you guys don't know this, but I'm legitimately considering buying one, maybe two cars in the next six to eight months and maybe even shorter than that, maybe in the next two to three months, I might buy a new car. Why I'm buying a new car? Well, you guys are going to have to see the reasons why. Uh, there's a couple of things that I just haven't said that I definitely need to address, but we'll get to those later. Here is a couple of cars that I've been considering looking at, considering driving and getting on the channel, and I wanna know if you guys would be interested in seeing some of these vehicles or not. Now, the first car on the list I have talked about so many times in recent videos, it's probably been in every single video recently that been a compilation of lists or anything like that. There's a couple of them that have been like this, but the main one is the Honda S2000 and the Corvette C5 Z06. Those two are top contenders in terms of cars around $15,000. Realistically, I think I would be looking to spend under 10,000 for at least one of the cars. And then maybe the second car we might wanna spend a little bit more. Two cars for sure I think I'd buy are the Z06 and the S2000. The Z06, I've been watching them for about a year now. I've been watching C5 Corvettes for the longest time, but C5 Corvettes have always been around 15,000. At one point about last year, the cars started to come towards $10,000. They're kind of sitting around anywhere between 12 to $15,000. Obviously you guys know Corvette people as much as I know Corvette people. And most of the old Corvette people tend to be really weird and they like to ask way too much money for their cars. I've seen automatic C5s for like 17,000 with like 100,000 miles on them. I'm seeing Z06s with about 100 to 130,000 miles on them listed for less than $18,000. I'm seeing Z06s with 60, 70, 80,000 miles right above 20, and I've seen multiple sell for less than 20. I honestly think for the price, there really isn't a better car. When we go to the S2000, we can see how much they've depreciated ever since their hype up. They were over $30,000 for these cars, and I can pick up a really good example right now for about $16,500, $17,000. But the S2000 is kind of similar to the cars I already have, the BMW Z3M, the Miata, they're very similar. I just want to kind of finish the trio and I really love the S2000, but it's a little further down on my list unless I found a really good deal on one. Getting into some more cars, I really want to buy my first rotary. It'd be interesting to do a FBRX7, FCRX7. I think the FD is just a little off of the price point, but it's not out of consideration. Now the FC is not out of the game, but I would like to get into the rotaries before I get into more complicated rotaries. I want to buy a FC Turbo 2, but before that, I kind of want to get my first introduction and get my toes a little wet into working on them with an FB. I also really like how the FBs look, they're just a classic 80s styling. And I think it'd be a car that I would keep for a long time. So RX-7 is a car that I really want, but I also would not mind a Mazda Repu. It's a rotary truck. They only made about 4,500 of them. So uh, they're rare, hard to find, but the ones that I am seeing, unfortunately, they're like no title or they're rusted out or whatever the case is. So there's not very many good ones out there unless I'm spending like $20,000. Some other cars on my list would be the Mazda Miata, Mazda Speed Miata, which is a turbo, factory turbo Mazda Miata. That's also a really good car and they're kind of rare. They only made about five and a half thousand of them. They were supposed to make more, but I just found out today that the Mazda factory burnt down and they were only able to make 55 instead of like 75 or so which is cool because it makes them more special. It's a factory turbo, it makes almost 200 horsepower. It's an awesome car and I would love to get my hands on one and it's under $10,000 and starting to get there for some clean ones. But if I find a, a Mazda Speed Miata or if I find an FB RX-7 for the right price, I could end up buying one tomorrow. I also wouldn't mind buying an E36 M3 or even an E46 or an E36, kind of like 355 or 330Ci, something either coupe or sedan, but manual, a drift car. Everyone's doing drift cars with those, and I think for the right price, I would consider getting a drift car for myself. You guys voted and wanted to see drift content, so 
If you want to see it, let me know. However, I am a huge fanboy when it comes to the M3. At one point, I want to own every single M3 that's out there, but we got to start somewhere, and I think the E36 would be the best place. Not only are they the cheapest, but I also am kind of familiar with the platform as I own an E36 car. The next car is a car that I absolutely adore, but people will kind of hate on a little bit, and it's the Nissan 350Z. I don't know why, I just really like the 350. I just, it's something about the styling, and I know people beat them up all the time, and I know people make them sound bad, but trust me, they can sound good, and they can look really good. It just seems like a fun car, and I kind of want to get back into a coupe. Got the Mustang, but I want to get into like a cheaper coupe. I used to have one, and I don't have one, and I'm just missing that feeling, because most of my cars are roadsters right now. I also consider a Mark III Supra. Turbo manual, has to be turbo manual, but the problem is, we got the 7M in the States, I kind of want a 1JZ, but that doesn't exist here, so... America. I don't know. But reading more on the 7M, I would buy a clean manual Supra with the 7M. Let me know if there's any other cars that I missed, or cars that I should consider. My criteria is pretty simple. It has to look good, and it has to sound good, or at the very least, it has to be some type of fun car. That's basically it. I know there's a bunch of other cars that I'm missing, but those are the cars I've kind of narrowed the search down to at the moment. But I think we need to go out and drive some of these cars and really test your guys' opinions. As always, I'd love to hear what you have to say in the comment section down below. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss when I actually do go out and buy one of these cars. It's gonna be sooner than later. Trust me, give it a couple months and I'll probably have something new. But as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.